Guys, I'm really excited today to share with you this video of a professional troll. I wish I could be as good by the name of Alex Stein. You guys have probably heard of him. And he went into the dragon's lair. He went into Antifa with guns surrounding a child drag story hour, whatever it was. They were there to protect the indoctrination and the grooming of said children. Here we go. See, this guy keeps on trying to bunt me every time I walk by. <laughs> Dude, I'm walking down the street. I'm standing here. I'm alive. Let him go sideways. Dude, I don't want to. Oh, that's so great. The guys, the weak guys tried to get in his way for absolutely no reason other than being ideologically possessed. And Alex Stein is just like, I'm just walking. Just let me walk. And he just bent gently nudges him and he falls over. If it wasn't on video camera, I guarantee guarantee that Alex would get sued by this cretin. And it's just the fact that he was getting in his way and is assaulting Alex. That's his protection. <laughs> it's so great that these things are videoed so that we can all take part in laughing at these laughing stock people. Let's let's go on. That was just a, that's just a great moment. All right, Alex, you need to leave. <laughs> I'm not leaving, guys. You guys, you're trying to get in my way. I'm here on a public street. Get out of my way. Oh, my God, guys. I'm so scared. The Antifa, they brought their play guns, their squirt guns. Oh, my God. Your arts and crafts time. Did this is, did this mess up your arts and crafts time? You guys are going to be able to go home and play with it. Why, why is it so tiny? Look how scary they are. Oh, my God. This guy's so scared. I'm so scared. He's got his gun. His big gun. He's a big Honestly, talk about putting people in their place. They come out there and, and look at them. They've got those big masks on hiding themselves. Why would anybody need to wear a mask if they were up to, uh, if they thought that they were truly doing good, if they didn't want to protect their identities? You know, you know that these people know that there's something wrong, which is why they put on the mask. So maybe that they can commit a crime and get away with it because there's no immediate way of identifying them or they're just trying to hide themselves because inwardly they don't want to look back on this years from now and realizing that they were protecting pedophiles from going ahead and grooming children I, ah, oh my god i'm so happy you're protecting these children so they can go get indoctrinated and go in there for transgender story time you're such a good american god bless this guy look at him i'm scared there you <laughs> I mean, these people, these are the real cowards. They're hiding behind their masks. They got their little guns. They think they're so tough. We're at a bookstore here in Denton, Texas, where they're trying to do drag queen story hour. And of course, the typical people here with their masks on, not able to actually stand up for what they believe in because they're all cowards. Officer, you think it's unusual they have their, their assault weapons like that out here in front of a place like this? Is that normal? No comment. <laughs> I don't blame her. I'm walking down the street. I'm standing here. I'm alive. Let him go sideways. Get out of my. Oh, that's just great. <laughs> I'm not children. But see, that's how. That's these are the real scaredy cats. They gotta walk around with a gun. They can't handle themselves like a real man. All right, guys. I just want to announce. I'm Primetime 99 Alex Stein, and I love y'all, even though you guys don't love me, and I know you guys probably love children a little too much, but I'm very empathetic to you guys. I love you guys. Even these guys with the guns, I feel sorry that you guys were probably abused as children, and I really hope you guys get the mental health care that you guys deserve. I love you guys. God bless you all. I love you guys. I love your rights. I think you guys are great. We need to actually transition more children. We need more drag queen story time for elementary school kids. That was just great. I mean, and he's he's 100 percent right. And this is how you take these people down. You show their idiocy. You make fun of them, which is why the jesters are always the first with the axe. Those who can commit satire against the establishment can demonstrate them for what they are, which is why Alex Stein is so effective. And we can see these nincompoops to use a very euphemistic phrase for what they are, scared little people that were likely abused, unfortunately, as he points out. And yes, they do need mental health. And I'm 
100% in Alex's corner here. And it's just a great video. I just love it when he just like, dude, just let me walk. And barely moves his hand and the guy just falls over. <laughs> it's so deserved. It's so deserved. What could be in that guy's mind? Just the mental unhingedness of it. And I know that I'm laughing at it. Perhaps that's an incorrect thing to do. Maybe I should have more empathy, but I don't. Uh, and yeah, so let's continue to make fun of these horrendous people. And uh, it's very brave of him, by the way, to go in there. It takes tremendous bravery. These people are mentally not with it. And despite the fact that there's a camera, there's no necessarily easy way to identify these people with a mask. So who knows what they are capable of doing. So I don't necessarily recommend doing this exact thing, but continued mocking of such people will have an effect on the public.